Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cloth and Paper YouTube channel. We hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, we're gonna be sharing an example of how you can get set up for your spring cleaning project using our Cornell style note-taking inserts and your monthly calendar. If you're not familiar with our Cornell style note-taking inserts, these are really great for mapping out different projects or taking notes. Over here on the left hand side, you have a large box and this can be used to note key terms or to organize your notes or your project into different sections. Here you have a lined note portion, which is perfect for just taking notes or listing. And then down at the bottom, you have a full length horizontal box and this can be used for writing follow up questions, taking additional notes or summarizing your project. To organize your spring cleaning project or really any project, one thing you can do is section out each of the areas into different zones. So in this example, we have four different zones. Zone one, which is kitchen. Zone two, which is bedrooms and closets. Zone three is office and desk space. And zone four is bathroom and vanity areas. So if you have multiple areas in your home that you want to declutter, clean, and reorganize, you can list those out into different zones. You might have the same zones that we have in this example, but you also might want to include the laundry room, garage, cars, or anything else that you want to declutter or clean moving into spring. Once you've mapped out all of your zones, you can take it a step further and break down each zone into different sections. This will make it a little bit easier to get through each of your zones and it'll give you a plan and an outline to follow. So here in this example in zone one, we have four different sections that we'll be focusing on. So we have the pantry, the refrigerator, drawers and cabinets, and countertops. Each of those categories is listed here in the subject section. And then over here in the notes section, we have detailed notes in a list format of everything that has to get done for each of those sections to meet our goal. So for example, you might wanna start with your pantry, remove all of the contents, deep clean the shelves and the actual pantry space, remove expired items, combine any duplicates you might have, and then if you have any non-perishables or canned goods that you won't be consuming that are unopened, you can put those in your donate pile. And same thing with the other categories here. You might wanna clean out your fridge space, drawers, countertops, and give everything a complete refresh. And then down here in this section, we also included a to buy list and a donate list. As you're organizing, you might find that you'll have to revisit, so you might need some new organizers or a new spice rack or just some new items to fill up your space. So you can go ahead and list those in the summary section and revisit that at a later date. For zone two through four, we followed the same structure. So we have our zones up at the top and then we broke down each of the zones into different categories that we wanna focus on. And then you can list all of the items that have to be completed. Zone two is bedrooms and closets. So we've separated those out between your closet and wardrobe and the bedroom area. If you haven't worn something in the last six months and you don't see yourself wearing it in the next six months, then you can probably toss it or donate it. Same thing with items that have poor fabric quality. If it has any rips or tears, it's probably safe to put in your declutter pile. Zone three is office and desk space. So this is broken up into desk, computer, and office area. Having a clean desk is great for productivity. So remove everything off of the top of your desk and sort things out into different drawers and organizers. You also might wanna do a digital declutter. So back up your computer, back up all of your documents and files, and then delete things off of your desktop that you don't need anymore. Go through your email inbox, delete spam, remove any old files or reorganize them into new folders. And then finally for the office portion, you can reorganize your planner inserts or your stationery, go through all of your pens and see what you can toss, what you can keep or anything that you wanna de-stash. So down here in the summarizing section, we have a to buy and a de-stash list. And finally, in this example, we have zone four, which is bathroom and vanity. Same idea here, you can separate out the different sections and then list everything that has to get done. 
And like I said, you might have other zones or more zones than we have in this example, but you can continue planning them out in a similar way by separating out the different zones, the different categories, and then putting in actionable steps to completing your final goal. You can also color code this if you're gonna be working this into your monthly or weekly planner spreads. So we use transparent dot stickers along with certain highlighters to color code each of the sections with bright, fun spring colors. We have each of our zones listed here on this color coding key. And then you can start planning them into your monthly or weekly spreads. So depending on what zones you have planned and how much cleaning, decluttering, and reorganizing you want to do, you may want to designate a specific week or a specific month for each of your zones. If it'll only take you one week or one weekend to complete one of your zones, then you can section these out by week. Otherwise, if you have a more in-depth plan and you're gonna be refinishing, repainting, getting new furniture, you might wanna section these out bi-weekly or by month So here we separated each of the zones by week and then you can slowly work on each section during the week. So for example, zone one has four different sections to clean, declutter, and reorganize. So you might wanna plan a day to tackle each of the different categories, or you might wanna spend one day cleaning everything, another day decluttering, and another day reorganizing. But that is just one example of how you can start setting up your spring cleaning project. And you can also apply this system to any project that you happen to be working on. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got a couple of tips or some inspiration on how to get started with planning your spring cleaning project. And let us know down in the comments how you are using your Cornell style note taking inserts and any other tips for spring cleaning organization. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye.